Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to your boarding call for your yarn vacation. Our last stop before we head home and the end of our make along. So, so far there haven't been many pictures posted for India. So either people have got lost, but I hope they don't miss this boarding call before we go to our next destination. Next destination. Well, where are we going? You have an option. Yes, I'm going to give you an option. You can go anywhere in the world you wanted to visit that we haven't previously visited and let it inspire your project. Tell us why you went there and what inspired you as you finish your project for the make along. Or you can come with me. I am going to revisit Japan. Yes. Reeves and I went to Japan about four years ago. We did a cruise around Japan and had a ball and it gave us a taste for wanting more and we'd like to go back. We talked about it and we thought it would be great to do an interrailing tour of Japan, but they're not available. But you can organize your own rail tour and go to different places. We want to see, um, what did I put? Osaka. Kyoto, Nagoya, and see more of Yokohama. We didn't really spend a lot of time there. So I've done some research for you if you want to join me in Japan. Japan is an island country in East Asia. It is situated northwest Pacific Ocean and bordered by on the west by the Sea of Japan. Capital is Tokyo. The current population of Japan it's a small place, but they have a hundred and twenty three million two hundred and ninety four. No, yes, a hundred and twenty three million two hundred and ninety four thousand five hundred and thirteen people in Japan. Now, I've said I don't like crowds, but Japan is very different when you walk around. People are very polite. They're organized. It's very clean. It's just so easy to get around. Tokyo even when it's absolutely people everywhere there seems to be a flow that isn't crushing and even the homeless people and yes there are homeless people in Japan stack up all their stuff very neatly they are very neat clean and tidy people so the national flower of course is the cherry blossom but we won't be there for the cherry blossom season that's April and May but I would like to go one year and see the cherry blossoms because I think all the cherry blossoms in bloom would be amazing. The national bird is the green pheasant, an omnivorous, omnivorous bird endemic to Japan. Now they don't have a national animal. They can't decide anything. And believe it or not, the national dish, food dish, is curry and rice. Let me pause the video. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, talking about the food. When we went to Japan, Reeves likes to make ramen and we went on in search of the great ramen meal. And it was right what he had read. Each province, the ramen broth tastes very different. Some are creamy, some are meaty. It was just amazing. And I really did enjoy exploring the food. But curry and is the national dish. Now I do make a Japanese curry. I use golden curry Japanese curry mix. You can get these at your supermarket. This is a hot one. There's a mild one and there's a medium one and that it actually is quite quick and easy to make. The only difference I do with the instructions on the back is they do use water and I, because I usually make chicken, I use chicken stock and um, yeah, that's about it. I don't use the water, I use chicken stock and it is really nice and we really like it. So there you have it. It's not just sushi or tempura, which I do like. There is ramen, beautiful noodle soups or curries. So there you have it, that's the national food dish. Things to see and do in Japan. Visit a hot spring. When it comes to things you must experience in Japan, it's, it's many osens or hot springs 
are an obvious choice. An osen is a Japanese hot spring that usually includes an inn or spa, taking, making the ideal way to unwind and relax after a long day. Most of them are open air and sit in the middle of some of the most beautiful vistas in the world. Now you can also go to bath houses, but there are some rules. You cannot go to a public bath house if you have tattoos. They won't let you in. You have to have a private bath. You can't go to the public one. And you have to be not so shy if you want to go to a public bar. The springs are different. I'm not sure those rules apply. You can visit, you can explore traditional crafts and heirlooms. If you wish to shop and see incredible handmade products from around Japan, you could visit Ahoyama Square. There's showrooms and stores visitors can visit. There's woodwork, textiles. Some artisans provide videos on how they make things. It is certainly worth a visit. Now we went to Akihabara. It's an experience. It was one of the big things on Rebus's bucket list because they have electronics. It's sort of pop culture gone crazy. Every country has a diverse subcultures and groups, but few seem to embrace them the way the Japanese does. Japan does. There's no easy way to describe Tokyo's pop culture hub, Akihabara, except it is to experience it. And I have to admit, it is an experience. Maybe you'll decide to pop into a cafe and have maid stowed on you, or perhaps you'll find solace in a hammock while reading manga. Regardless of what you choose, you'll find something fun, unlike anything else you've seen. You can I'll have photos at the end of our trip to Japan. If you're missing your cat, you can go to a, a cat cafe and pet cats while you drink coffee. Yes, there's everything and a lot of electronics in um, Akihabara it was definitely an experience. You could go to one of Japan's national heavyweight sports. This is something we didn't do and we want to go back and do. And that's most people are least vaguely familiar with sumo wrestling, but it's much more than wrestling match. They host tournaments in a popular arena and the sumo stand in the middle and one of the most sumo focused areas in Japan dozens of wrestlers at different stables now sumo wrestlers belong to stables and they put their pride on the line and battle thousands of cheers fill the air there are few sports left in the world that have a cultural rich history of sumo and it's experience to truly experience firsthand we really want to go there I can't pronounce the popular area Ragugu Kachukan, I can't, but that's where it's held. And Reeves knows a lot about sumos. They don't earn a lot of money unless they are the best. We have actually got some Australians over there that are sumo wrestlers. And yes, it is a contest and it is a job. It's amazing, it truly is. Now, you could go to Yokohama and visit the Cup Noodle Museum, a museum dedicated to instant noodles and cup noodles. The museum features four stories of exhibition and attractions. Now, I, when we went to Japan, that was my first overseas craft shop. Um, that was the same thing. It was a shop which was stories high and one floor was dedicated to wool and fabrics and crafting things. And I did buy a little bit there, but it was quite expensive. Um, the other thing we did, because Reeves is really into baseball and he follows Japanese baseball and his team was bottom of the ladder, he happened to find out that there would be a game on close to our hotel. And he organized tickets through a guy online he said to me, if he doesn't turn up with the tickets, I've only blown a couple of hundred Australian dollars. As soon as we checked into the hotel and the girl heard our name, 
she went out the back and brought out this massive envelope and there were our tickets but not only that he gave us price of what it would cost to catch a taxi there how to walk there if we wanted to walk what food would cost a private car cost and his mobile phone number in case we got stuck the tickets were perfect they were behind home plate and I took my crafting along but it never left my bag you really have to experience a baseball game in Japan the umbrella dance that everybody does the fans of the teams they have a song for each player in their team and as soon as that player steps up to bat the fans start singing that song it was just amazing it really was and definitely something to be experienced I can't say enough about it um, I think Reeves was worried I'd be bored but truly and the best part of it was his team not tipped to win won in the bottom of the eighth it was truly made his night and yeah the guy who organised the tickets was just truly brilliant. Couldn't say enough about him. I know Reeves left a really great review on his site. So there you have it. There'll be some pictures at the end if you want to join me in Japan of our previous Japanese trip. Um, Japan is definitely a country to be experienced and there is so much to see. Mount Fuji, the food, just the people. The, the way the girls dress, their sense of fashion um, is truly different to ours. Um, what we wouldn't imagine of wearing together, they just do it. It is just truly brilliant country to visit. But if you have a place you want to visit, feel free, go there for our last stop. Now, I hope you post and send me your pictures of your finished product. It'd be great if you could email me some so I could do a slideshow. Around the 1st of July, I will do the last prize draw. I will draw a $25 voucher for the person who participated in June. And then the overall prize draw for, who, for people who have participated for the last six months. It's been awesome. And I can't wait to go on my trip to the UK. Uh, my feet are so itchy to travel. I love to travel. Anyway, guys, I really love this make along. And yeah, last year it was a year. Six months is perfect. And if you want to do one next year, how about you leave some comments below on some ideas on what you think would be a great make along for next year? Because I'm happy to do it again with a great inspired idea. So let me know whether you went to Japan with me or if you went somewhere else in the world, somewhere you've always wanted to go because you can go anywhere virtually on your broom. Thank you for participating. I hope you enjoy your last stop and then head home. Thank you, bye for now.